not too far away from where we just got stopped by the police and had to show our passports, we finally made our way into the field, trying to ask some people about their concerns regarding the dirty water and the irrigation of crops. What we're hearing is pretty much the same thing, not much. But we're finding out it's really tough to get answers. We finally made our way into the fields and asked this man about the water here. The water here is so dirty. I mean, how do you irrigate all the crops? But before he could answer, he got a phone call from a passenger in a car that had been following us. Uh -oh, somebody calling him about us. There are some foreigners here asking about the water, he says. How should I answer? It didn't take us long to find out. We've been doing a lot of things to improve the environment here, he says. So while the water might look scary, it's actually okay. But in fact, the Dulio Jin has tested as one of the most polluted rivers in this region. And it's that kind of toxic water that's dangerous to people's health. The World Bank and China's own environmental agency, SIPA, estimate that polluted water causes roughly 60,000 premature deaths every year and is linked to rising cancer rates. The Ministry of Health reports that increased pollution has made cancer China's leading cause of death. Those are the statistics. This is what they... Lian Chao, you see, is known as a cancer village. Village leaders say out of 400 people, 28 have died here in the past 10 years. That's more than 50 times the average cancer rate in China. As we've been investigating, trying to figure out where all this pollution is coming from, people keep pointing us to the Dabaoshan mine. We've actually just entered the ground of this particular mine. We're kind of surprised that we're even able to get into this particular area. Haven't had much luck in other places. We're going to go to the mine. We're going to actually walk right up to the mine, knock on the front door, and see what we find, ask people about the pollution, and ask people why it's happening. Why have 28 people out of 400 in the past 10 years died in this place now known as a cancer village? Why is the water from the mountain running red? Everyone points us up toward the Dabaoshao mine. We're going to go to the mine. We're going to actually walk right up to the mine, knock on the front door, and see what we find ask people about the pollution and ask people why it's happening. The roads on the way to the headquarters gave us a view of the sprawling operation. Daboshan is a state-run iron ore mine that goes on for miles. Mountaintops are ripped apart. The watercolor alternates only between dark red and brown. After about 30 minutes, we arrive at the mine office. We locate the mine director's office. Yeah. Hello. Hey, you. We're with uh, CNN. I wonder if you can ask you a couple of questions. Thank you. The director of the mine invited us into his office, but at first refused to answer our questions. But we continued to ask about the pollution. We're very concerned about what we've seen here with the water and with the cancer deaths. And that's why we're here, sitting here talking to you. We want to get your point of view. It's a complicated issue, he says. The government leaders do realize it's a problem, and there have been some environmental issues. Why is it still happening if they've known about it for so long? It's not something you can solve overnight, he also said. Smaller, privately owned mines share some of the blame. When we asked him if he would eat the food irrigated by the water or even drink it, he said, of course not. The state environmental agency in Beijing has oversight over issues like this but they declined to comment. That's not good enough for Jing Jing Zhang. You're talking about suing the government of China. Yeah. Can you even do that? Yeah, we can. We have a administration litigation law and uh, give us uh, this right to sue the government agency. Jing Jing, an environmental attorney, 
is suing the government on behalf of the villagers in Liangzhou. Look at this. The, the home is very simple. Very. Jing Jing grew up near a chemical factory where her parents worked and next to a heavily polluted river like the Hing Shu. This is the reason I want to do this work as an environment lawyer. I always have a dream to live in a place in which there's a clean river I can swim in. This is my dream. But you know, this dream seems very difficult to achieve in China now. She tells me that the Dabashan mine has been polluting the Hengshu River for decades. If you said to them, look, if you just build a water treatment plant, you could potentially save lives, what would they say to that? See, we already take measure to clean up the water. This is what they told the villagers. We already meet all this uh, environmental standard. But it seems they're not. Mining for iron ore exposes heavy metals like lead and cadmium. Past studies from Huanan Agricultural University concluded that the high levels of lead, cadmium, and other heavy metals polluting the Hengshu River have made the water too toxic for human use. And recent tests of the soil from scientists Jingjing hired revealed high levels of lead, much higher than Chinese environmental standards. High levels of lead have been linked to some forms of cancer. While the people of Lianxiao are getting sick, the mine is profiting. The company's own website says they made $6 million in the first half of 2006 alone. The mine has given the village some compensation. Guess how much they pay the whole village? How much is it worth for a, can for a village to develop cancer? So they, they pay the compensation is, uh, per year is 1,700 RMB for whole village. How many dollars is that? Uh, About 200. 200. Two hundred dollars for an entire village yeah. for a year. Yeah. That's compensation. Yes, yeah, compensation. That's just fifty cents per person. Jingjing Jing continues to build her case, trying to win compensation for medical testing, health care, and damage to the village's rice crops. She hopes to go to trial next year.